Hello everyone and welcome back to Keep It English. Do you ever have to analyse data in English? Maybe not now, but one day it is possible that you will have to give a presentation using charts and data in English. If that day arrives, no problem. You will be prepared because in this lesson we're going to talk about chart vocabulary. There are four types of charts and graphs. These are a pie chart, which is called this because it looks a bit like something you can eat. A bar graph, because we use bars. A line graph, look, lines. And a scatter graph, which uses dots. Note that with the last three diagrams, we use the word graph and not chart. But how do we speak about the data? Let's talk about this chart about sales of tomato soup in 2017. Well, first of all, your chart or graph uses two lines called axes. There is an X axis and a Y axis. If the line or bar is going up, then you can say that tomato soup sales are increasing or growing. If it's going down, then it is decreasing or falling. The highest point is called a peak. For example, we reached peak tomato soup sales in the third quarter of 2017. The lowest point is normally only called the lowest point. If the line is going up, you can also say that the company is experiencing steady growth. For example, we saw a steady growth in tomato soup sales throughout 2017. This is called a sharp fall or drop. For example, however, tomato sales fell sharply or dropped sharply at the beginning of the new year. Another word we use is trend. Trend means a change or development in a general direction. This graph indicates that there was an upward trend in tomato soup sales in 2017 until the new year, when there was a sharp downward trend. So next time you have to speak about data in English, try using some of these phrases. Well, that's it for charts and graphs. To recap on any information from this lesson, go to the lesson notes below. See you next time.